everyone, welcome back to the Library of Parthos. My name is Sarah and today we are unboxing the Alcrate box for June 2024. Before we do that, I have a slight confession to make. I guess really two confessions when you think about it. Um, when I went to the Eras tour in Dublin, I was pretty determined that I didn't need to get any merch, but hubby wasn't really digging the crowd and so he was going to go look at the merch. There were a couple people he was hoping to buy for back home and so I said, you know, if you see anything that you think I would like, then go ahead and get it, but I really don't wear t-shirts. Like, I never wear t-shirts and I have so many of them. It doesn't make sense to spend money on something that I'm probably not going to wear. Um, and then I saw this three quarter zip. I don't know if you could see it. It says the Eras Tour. And then on this side it says Taylor Swift. And then it has like the, the Eras Tour poster on the back. Um, and I am all about a three quarter zip. So I said, you know, if you happen to find one in my size, you can go ahead and get it. I guess I'll probably wear it. So this is the first time I'm wearing it and it is incredibly comfortable. I love how long it is. Um, I can definitely wear it with leggings, which is amazing. And like the collar, I was really worried about it when I put it on that it would like stick up and it doesn't, it like folds down, which is awesome because that doesn't always happen for me. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> you probably don't care, but I'm excited about it. And the other thing also Taylor Swift related, I cannot stop thinking about the Midnight's bodysuit and boots. Um, and I'll try to throw up a picture of that I took at the Eras tour, but that combination is just stellar. I found a pair of um, like booties, so they're like ankle height boots uh, that come in black, like sparkly black or sparkly blue. And I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need them. Um, but it's not working very well, so you can go ahead and help me out with that. I don't need the sparkly boots. They're probably going to be incredibly painful to wear, but I really want them. <laughs> what would I wear them with? I have absolutely no idea. Um, but yeah, these are the things that plague my mind frequently. So anyway, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into the Alcrate box for this month. Let's go ahead and get into the Alcrate box for June 2024. Now, um, as I mentioned in my previous unboxing video, Illumicrate was a little bit behind on shipping. So um, I actually got the June Illumicrate box first and then I got the May box or the May box came then the June box came immediately after. I honestly don't remember the order, um, but I've been putting off filming until I had everything and then I had the brilliant idea to just split them up anyway. So we could have resolved all of this, all of these problems weeks ago, but hey, you live and you learn. Um, so anyway, this is the June box, even though it's quite late, and I'm sure by the time this actually comes out, I'll already have the July box, but that's totally fine. So the theme for June 2024 is one step ahead. I've got my handy dandy spoiler card ready to go, so let's go ahead and dive into this box. First item in the box is a part of the royalty drinkware collection, I think. Um, um, now, different than the Illumicrate mugs, what I really love about these is that they're the stackable ones. So the previous one was from uh, the Folk of the Air series. So this one will just stack right on top of it, which is going to be a major space saver for somebody whose mug collection is growing exponentially and getting out of control. On top of being awesome to store, this is an Akatar inspired mug, and I love Akatar. That is the candles that I have back here. Um, I have, and if you are not familiar with the podcast that I do with my cousin slash best friend Sam, um, I did make her read A Court of Thorns and Roses. I can link 
that here if you would like to listen to our discussion. Um, but she was shocked to learn that I have merch and I certainly do. Um, so this will be added to my merch collection. Um, the inside says to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. I didn't even need to look at it to quote it, um, but I did just to make sure I got the words right. I am so excited about this mug and I'm so excited that the first two in the collection are both from a C or each from a series that I really, really love. So that bodes well for the future of the collection of these mugs, but let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we have these facial cleansing pads inspired by the Prison Healer. Um, I think I got some of these in Illumicrate last month or two months ago or something like that, um, but they are super soft on the back, like so, so soft. And then on the front, these ones do have uh, different things on them. So we have Be the Light in the Dark. We have a sword. I've not read this series, so I don't know if these mean anything to anybody. There's a flower. <laughs> and then there's this thing, which looks like some rings. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think these are so cool. You know, I don't really use um, anything like any this is I don't use anything to wash my face I wash my face I have a pretty I would even say a pretty stellar skincare routine um but I just use my hands but um I do like these I like that they're reusable they came also in a cloth bag which you could probably just like put them in and throw them in the washer that way they're not like you know thrown around with all the rest of your things in there and that should probably help them stay a little bit longer um so i might have to start using these at the very worst they're a great thing to re-gift so that's what's great about these boxes is if it's not something that you can use you can probably find somebody to gift it to and then that just makes gift giving so much easier the next item in the box is this annotation slash note-taking kit inspired by Skolomance. I'm not even sure if I said that right or what that means, um, but this is super cool. And the front has something in Latin and the back it says, in wisdom, shelter. Um, so inside we have, oops, my bad. We have um, tabs for annotating. We have post-it notes that say we believe in magic. We have a notepad that also is in Latin. And then we have a pen that says the same thing as the back in Wisdom Shelter. Um, a regular pen, nothing special about it, per my last uh, unboxing video where I ranted about the, the customs issues with the Illumicrate pen. Um, but I really like that this one came with a pen because a lot of times these little annotation kits are just like a stack of the tabs or like a post-it note set, but having the pen like all in one I think is super handy. I'm not somebody who annotates a ton when I'm reading just like fiction, but if I am reading, like if I'm studying, then I am a heavy annotator. So this will probably get used more for that than for just like reading for pleasure. Next item in the box, we have this tea inspired by the adventures of Amina El Sarafi. I absolutely love tea. Um, this is a pineapple and mango tea, which sounds delicious. So it is a decaf tea, that's important. Um, we have apple pieces, mango flavor, mango pieces, cream flavor, white corn flowers, pineapple and marigold flowers. Um, so it sounds like it tastes absolutely delicious and it looks really pretty on the back too, like where you can see the, the tea in there. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna smell what it smells like, which is exciting because I couldn't smell or taste for about three days. So I'm really happy that I can smell things again. Mm, it smells, it smells like, like a pie. Is there like a pineapple cream or like, like not peaches and cream, but like pineapple? Like, okay, so when I was a kid, I used to get like, you know, like the fruit cups that you can buy in the store where like you have to like lift the tab a little bit and drink the juice and then you can eat the fruit inside and it doesn't spill all over your lap while you're eating it. I used to get those, but they had like a cream at the bottom and they made like a peaches and cream one and they made like a pineapple and cream one. So it was like the cream at the bottom, the pineapple on top, 
and then you mixed it together and it was really good. This is what that tea reminds me of. I don't even know if they make those anymore. I just remember like having them in my lunchbox when I went to school. Um, so it, it smells really good. I'm so excited to have some and I'm really excited too that it's a decaf, meaning that I don't need to um, specifically have it in the morning, that I can have it before bed, which is really exciting. I cannot believe that we're halfway through the Perfect Pairings pin collection. Um, I just noticed on here that it says six of 12 so that's just crazy that like half the year is gone already I can't believe it um, this month's pin is inspired by the poppy war um, let's test out the use a bit ease of ease of use I guess um, it's about the same as it was last month like the, the getting it across is like pretty easy but then like coming back it kind of gets stuck a little bit so we're getting some consistency with the uh, ease of use here. Last but not least, we have the book for this month. I love the cover of this one. I'm really excited to share it with you. It is of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chen. Um, what I love about it, I love all the blue tones and the different like geometric patterns of the front. I love the gold, especially on like the, I'm assuming this is like a dragon or a sea serpent. I love the gold on its eyes. I love the dirigible on the back top corner. I'm super excited about that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this book. Of course, we have the bright blue sprayed edges. Um, inside on the back of the dust jacket, there is some artwork. So here's what the back of the dust jacket looks like. The front of the book says, is it worth it? This war we're fighting. On the back it says, a lamp can light up the darkness around you, but a story lights up the darkness within. And then we do have um, like a blueprint on the inside, which is pretty interesting. So I think it's, is it the same? Yeah, it's the same on the front and the back. Um, so aside from being just a gorgeous book, this the premise of the story sounds super interesting, so let's go ahead and take a look at that together. The spoiler card says, Our protagonist, Ying, follows the trail to her father's murderer, leading her to infiltrate the male-only apprenticeship trial with the unlikely help of a prince who may have plans of his own. So um, we've got a girl disguising herself as a guy with some real Mulan vibes going on that I am so into. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited to read this book. I am planning to read it um, after I finish the book that I'm currently reading. So this one should, I should have a review of this one relatively soon. Um, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for unboxing my Owlcrate box with me. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.